Colorado State, the 2003 Hall of Fame inductees earned anecdotal labels. Nikki was tenacious, Greg persistent, Jim versatile, Rich dependable, Doug loyal. These bright flashes shed light but fail to reveal the lasting glow these athletes cast across the green and gold landscape. Their brilliance can't be measured by strikeouts, rebounds, and receptions. Ram tradition dictates they be remembered by their character, ambition, and resolve. Those qualities were at the heart of their Ram athletic performance. While competing, they developed a philosophy shaped by coaches and teammates, a philosophy emphasizing hard work, dedication, and teamwork. It made them outstanding athletes and even better people. Tonight, we honor the people who make us proud to be CSU Rams. I'll tell you, the only way you get good at anything is to do what? Do it over and over and over until you're good at it. Make mistakes, learn from them. Practice is always more difficult than the game. You're going to work harder in practice than you are in the game. And you the same thing in the classroom. The homework should be more difficult than the test. These Albuquerque High School Did math students look up to Rich Strong. His height has nothing to do with their admiration. As their Let's teacher, see. they look to him for solutions to more than just algebra problems. In real life, a problem, the hardest part is sometimes picking out what's important. We're always competing whether we know it or not. And so just the athletics, the competition teaches you that hard work does pay off. His height and determination did serve him well during his stay at Colorado State. He was the only player in CSU's men's basketball history to start every game during a four-year career. And I think that's one of the things that's well overlooked in today's schools. It's just a student that's tenacious, that wants to do it, that's going to get it done regardless. And that's something that you learn through athletics. He started 126 consecutive games between 1982 and 1986. Tabbed the, quote, thinking man's basketball player, Rich was named the league's top male student athlete his senior season. I didn't have any expectations. It was a matter of, well, I'm just going to do the best I possibly can. Come on, Nick. Got her! Nick, got him, Nick. In 1997, Nikki Johnson and her teammates were living a dream. It was a fairy tale for us, and even looking back, it's one of those things that I still can't believe. Nikki was on the mound, leading her team to within one victory of a berth in the Softball College World Series. It was an amazing accomplishment that I don't think anybody thought we were capable of, and that's what makes it even greater. She finished the year 33-7 and with a 1.5 earned run average. Pitching in 35 complete games, Nikki still holds nearly every school career pitching record. To me, playing was never about breaking records. It was about being on a team and having a good time, and all those things put together meant success in the end. Second team All-American as a senior, Nikki was also the Conference Player of the Year and voted Colorado State's most outstanding female athlete in 1997. I think I owe a lot of what I am today, you know, to what I, I went through being at CSU and learning the value of working hard and being a team player. My dad, specifically, who has coached me since I was eight years old, feels that. Her pitching success will never touch the kind of port, the person that she is because they just don't rise to that level. I would do it again at the drop of a hat. I love every second of it. I couldn't have done it without every single player that was on my team and my coaches and it makes me proud to maybe say that I can accept this on behalf of them. In 1946, as a freshman at Colorado A&M, Jim Ranson walked onto the basketball team and made the starting five. After the season ended, he played first base for the Aggies baseball team. His senior year, he helped his team to an appearance in the College World Series. I think that's the only time that a a uh, team, baseball team from CSU has ever gone to the College World Series. Then one day, while on a short break from baseball practice, he went over to the track and he took second in a conference high jump meet. His last year at A&M, he joined the football team, playing safety on defense and end on offense right alongside Fum McGraw. I lettered four times in basketball, three in baseball, three in track, once in football, 49 football. As a senior, he finished second to FUM in the voting for the Nye Award. Went in the Marine Corps, won the all 
a marine high jump in 1952 at Camp Pendleton. Uh, so, you know, all the things that you learn at, at CSU, they have great carryover value. He signed a contract with the Yankees minor league organization advancing to Triple A. It's pretty good players. Marvin Thronberry, he eventually played first base for, uh, for Casey Stingle in the Mets. Whitey Herzog, there's some pretty good players that come out of these leagues. A knee injury cut short his baseball career, but opened up new opportunities for thousands of Southern Colorado high school students. Jim taught and coached in Pueblo for 38 years. That's been a real experience to be at CSU and the Marine Corps and a ball player and a coach and a teacher. So we've had a great life. And of course, it's my dream to, to become a doctor one day. And of course, being a doctor means you have to hit the books real hard. And, uh, Greg Primus always wanted to be a doctor. The third day after surgery, okay. you'll go home. As an orthopedic surgical resident at the University of Chicago, Greg has achieved his lifelong goal. I was fortunate to actually find two things in life that I really love. Coming up, I loved biology. And then, of course, sports was, was a passion of mine. The all-time leader in career pass receptions and career pass receiving yardage Greg still ranks among the top 12 players in Division I history in career receiving yards. I still dream about the game and what I experienced back then. Well, my experiences in football uh, so equipped me uh, to be a physician, and not only a physician, uh, but a surgeon. Colorado State definitely had a great impact. He had plenty of help along the way to push him to his dreams. My academic advisor, she was probably as much of a sports enthusiast as anybody I've ever known. It was a perfect match. I used to think when he would catch the passes that those hands would be really good for doing surgery someday. In 1990, he led Colorado State to the Freedom Bowl, an experience he'll never forget. And you looked up at the stadium here to see this whole cement platform moving up and down. The only way I could explain that is an out-of-body out experience. <laughs> I was in those stands, and of course we didn't know who was going to win to the very last second. The conversion is unsuccessful. The score, Colorado State 32, Oregon 31. I do feel very proud of what he has accomplished. I know when I heard that he was being elected into the uh, Hall of Fame, I thought to myself, his actions on and off the field made him very deserving of this life. We go to surgery. The next day, that arthritic pain is gone. And their whole life has basically changed. And to see the gratification, that's the most fulfilling thing that I think uh, anybody can experience. <laughs> Head track and field coach Del Hessel's first recruit was a high and intermediate hurdler named Doug Max. It was my very, very first recruit to go in their living room. And I have to tell you that I was nervous. Del moved on and Doug eventually became head coach for 19 years. I am so forever thankful for what Fun McGraw has done for me. He gave a high school coach an opportunity to come in and be a Division I head coach. And you don't see that too often. He seized on Coach Hessel's momentum and literally built a track program from the ground up. He was the person that persevered and got something done that many people didn't think could happen. Therefore, it is only fitting and with due respect that this greatly needed facility was built and now dedicated and named for that yeah. Christmas. Fun, said when that track's ready to go down, just let me know. We got to that point and you know, he spreads ashes of Jack Christensen down in that track. When we went from having our two dirt tracks to having the indoor track, I started getting some better recruits. After we built the Jack Christensen track, our team, we went up. Recruits like Libby Hickman, Casey Malone, Shelley Greathouse Borman, and Brian Berryhill achieved All-American status and were putting Colorado State on the track and field map. That was part of our tradition. Yeah, it's, it's really rich and that's mostly because of Doug and what he did there. 
Today, Coach Hessel is back in charge of the track program and Doug is Associate Athletics Director, overseeing operations and game management. He also coordinates one of the most exciting developments in the history of Ram Athletics, the renovation and expansion of Sonny Lubick Field at Hughes Stadium. Well, we talked about Fum and how close he was to Fum. Also, I think he has all those same characteristics. Colorado State's so important to him. Much, We've seen him build a track program from nothing and now to come into administration and I'm so proud and pleased that he's in charge of uh, seeing this new facility and these new improvements. I'm just so, so pleased, but I'll be on him too all the time. To Doug, the whole idea is uh, to make Colorado State better. I mean, it's just, he doesn't think any other way. He, he doesn't think any other way. He was key at doing all of the detail work associated with getting the McGraw Center put together and the Moby Arena remodeled. And now that we have the striker gift to do Hughes Stadium expansion, we're counting on Doug Max again. And so when you think of Colorado State University Athletics, you've got to think of Doug Max. He gets the job done. Following in the footsteps of his mentor from McGraw, Doug, like Nikki, Rich, Jim, and Greg, share a passion for the green and gold. Their legacy fuels our tradition and propels us toward future excellence. You look at all the students and great athletes that have gone through Colorado State University, and it is quite an honor. I understand the tradition. I understand who many of these men and women are. You know, I'm just, I mean, I'm. I don't even know what to say. You know, it's something that you never expect to happen, but tremendous pride. We are the sum of our past experiences. And those relationships and experiences are what I am today. Success now is, is measured on everything I gained from, from that experience and not, you know, what the scoreboard showed at the end of the game. We take pride in their achievements, but honor the type of people they have become. <laughs>